So this is Talon. And Talon is my falconry bird, a little red tail hawk. That this will be his second year hunting with me. I've had him since he was a little bit less than a year old. And this is probably going to be our star to show today. So they call it a red tail because of the tail? Oh yeah. Look at those feathers. So you use him to hunt squirrels? Mm -hmm. Squirrels and rabbits is our primary prey base. A lot of falconers use red tail hawks just because they get those really thick toes with huge talons and they can handle a bigger mammal like that. All right, so what's involved in being able to own and work with a bird like this? Well, in Talon's case, he's under my falconry permit and a falconry permit is a permit through the Department of Natural Resources here in South Carolina where we're able to trap wild birds of prey they have to be less than a year old to train for falconry and what falconry is by definition is training birds of prey to catch game in their natural habitat to get this permit you actually have to qualify by taking a 105 question exam through the department of natural resources and you want to do that first because it kind of makes you look good to what we call a sponsor and a sponsor is a falconer they have to be a general level falconer and so i had to be mentored by a sponsor for four years and then after all those steps, you'll be able to get your permit to trap your first bird. But it still doesn't stop there. Once you actually get a bird, you have to turn in, as an apprentice, monthly reports. Every month, you have to turn in a report of what you've done with that bird and where you've been hunting, all sorts of details like that. What falconry is, is it's taking raptors, like hawks, eagles, falcons, and owls, and training them to hunt with, so hunt game in their natural habitat. So the story with him is him and three brothers were taken from a nest by people who thought owls were really cool and they wanted to keep it as a pet. And I like to emphasize that owls are not pet, neither are any other birds of prey. They don't make good pets. He was extremely malnourished. So this guy and his two brothers, it was Winky, Blinky, and Dinky, um, <laughs> were brought to a rehabber and they were imprinted, meaning they really don't know that they're an owl. So if he was released back to the wild, he really wouldn't know what to do with himself. So that's why he's on the educational permit. She is actually a falconry bird. So we use this bird to go out and catch game in their natural habitat. With her thinner toes, even though they're still relatively large, is gonna help her catch those rabbits that we put her on. Red tails dominate South Carolina falconry. And this is because of the way that they're built. The reason we use them on squirrels is because a squirrel can have a pretty nasty bite. A fox squirrel can have a bite upwards of 10,000 pounds per square inch. Um, and gray squirrels are right behind them. With a red tail, you can tell whether they're juveniles or not because they will not have their red tail. They will actually have a brown tail. So when we're out trapping, we're going to look for that brown tail. As they get older, and it's hard to see from far away, 